City of Arlington is going to be testing driverless vans soon, a way to get people around the entertainment and sports district. We're going to get details this morning from Arlington Mayor Jeff Williams and city staff member Alicia Winkleblack. So, Mayor, give me the uh, runs, hits, and errors, if you will, the who, what, when, where, and why. Well, interestingly enough, Tim, we are at the beginning of a transportation technology revolution throughout our nation. And automated vehicles are here, and we are getting a jump on letting our citizens experience it and to be able to get the data that exchange between these automated vehicles and our infrastructure and we will be the first city in texas to be running automated vehicles on the street for the public uh, and it, uh, alicia it's going to be actually in in a predefined area they're not going to be wandering all over the city streets right Right, so we'll have this service um, initially available in our entertainment district. So if someone wants to come enjoy a sporting event, a concert, um, they'll be able to check out the driverless vehicle for that. We'll also be offering day-to-day non-event service for someone who maybe works in the area and wants to go grab lunch. So is, is it going to be on a predetermined route or do, am I going to get on my smartphone and call it and this robot car will, will come and pick me up? We'll have a mix for the special events. It'll probably be more of a circulator service, mm -hmm. but if you're using it on a non-event day, there'll actually be a free app that you can download from Drive AI, um, and then you request your ride, and a driverless vehicle will come pick you up. This is the same company that is doing this in Frisco inside the confines of a business park to kind of get cars off the streets, particularly during the middle of the day when somebody's going from one office building to another, right? Exactly, and uh, here is the opportunity. We, we started with our first generation automated vehicle that was running through uh, our trails and parking lots there, and we were the first city in the United States to do that. And you may remember in January, we did, launched a technology-based rideshare program that has been extremely successful, and that is with VIA. Now we're entering into this next phase of driver AI. In our city, we want to, to let everyone know that we are moving ahead on transportation. Because that has been something that the city of Arlington has resisted, the traditional old school uh, buses on a, on a predictable route. And as it turns out, it looks like that is really gonna be a help to us because we have a clean palette. We are able to look at all of this technology and take care of it. And this is the exciting thing, Tim. It's cheaper and safer, and that's very exciting. Rather than putting an entire fleet of buses or trains or whatever on the streets, how much is it going to cost me to catch one of these rides? It will be free. It really will be. It so, will be a free ride. And, and where's the money come from? That's his job, but I'm going to ask you. <laughs> we, uh, it's a mix. We've got a access to a federal grant, and then um, the city will be, be, be providing the remainder. Okay, so that'll be just out of the general tax revenue? It is, uh, but it's uh, amazingly cost-effective uh, there. And of course, the difference between spending $50 million a mile for light rail mm -hmm. and spending a few hundred thousand here to be able to, to have this kind of convenient service is so key. You don't have to worry about that first mile to get to the bus station or train station. It comes to you, and you also don't have to worry about that last mile to get you from the bus station or train station to your work or hospital or wherever you're okay. going. And really quickly, we're looking at uh, it starting when? October 19th. Okay, very good. October 19th, unfortunately after the end of the baseball season, but that'll <laughs> that'll give you plenty of time to ramp up for next season as well. Thank you both for Thank coming you, in. Tim. Thank we appreciate you. it.